check. Check. Hey, guys and girls. This is Gordon Overkill with uh, third, I think it is the third, yeah, probably the third episode in the adventures of Spartacus. Male level 13. Mist Elven Duelist. Where did we leave our Spartacus? It's been a couple of days again. I had a pretty exciting weekend. So, um, <laughs> sadly, I didn't get the second stream in for last week. But here we are, and now I remember again. Spartacus just scouted all the levels of the Caverns of Chaos down until he reached the two downstairs level. From there, he returned to Dwarf Town. And I think at the moment he is pretty heavily burdened, if I remember correctly. So it might be an idea to get rid of some of this stuff. How do we do that? Wait a second. Um, maybe we're late with gun. We don't have a wand of door creation, do we? No. Sadly, no wand of door creation. So we might either drop the stuff on the ground in one of these rooms which is probably the best idea let's do that close this door close that door for the moment and we drop everything here on the downstairs that lead us down to dwarf town let's do a little round of inventory management we will drop this oh no not everything not everything we will drop this and that, this and that, this, this and that. We keep the invisibility cloak with us. We keep the carrying girls with us. To wait a second, maybe we don't drop anything. We don't drop anything. We just equip our carrying girls. Ah, yeah, no, no. Ha! Ah, just took me a while to get back into it. Hello, two-headed ogre. Would you mind dying? Nice. Um, better finish off this orc from a distance. And we just increased our bow skill to level 1. It takes just 123. Ah, 123 to get it one higher. That's so much. Um, our scrolls, we don't want to lose them. I think we just, uh, we better throw them over. Um, everything. Now the last one, the scroll of defense. Throw that over too. And we do the same with our book. Where is our book? Here, the book of lightning bolt. We absolutely do not want to lose that. So we throw it to the other side too. And now we just swim through the river. Taking 21 points of damage, that's quite a lot, but we get 9 points back, so nothing too bad happened. Let's also pick up these arrows just before we shoot the orc on the other side. We don't want an orc on the other side. Um, yes, let's use the barbed arrows, finish them off. Nice. Our strength is still at 17. We can get one more strength increase. Okay, there's another guy we have to shoot. Oh, there's a lot of guys we have to shoot. It seems like. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Our main goal for the moment is to finish the first of Trunna's quests. And this quest was to kill a troll. Need to find a troll somewhere around here. And I think our best chance will be the big room.
Oh no, that's a ice vortex. Oh, that's dangerous. Mm. Could try to fast lay it, or oh, I forgot to reach the, sh the magic missile wand. Maybe our best chance is to use the arrows. Come on, sh sh kill him. Oh, we got him. Whew. Good melee hit. That could have gotten dangerous otherwise. We have just 59 HP. That's not enough to safely protect us from vortex explosions. Vortices are probably one of the biggest threats to Spartacus at the moment. One more step up. Check what we have here. The big room. That's the big room. Well, now that we get in here, we quickly swap to our invisibility cloaks so we can be a little more safe and quicker with exploring this level up here we have a couple of herbs we'll harvest them all oh vortex shoot it shoot it shoot it oh no kill it oh god holy moly did all the arrows get destroyed it seems so getting hungry our hunger increases of course now that we are invisible and there was a message we're getting moody maybe we lost some stat strength is still where it was I think toughness is there too what do we have here this is a blink dog no it's a cushion we can just kill it I'll try to save some more herb spots if possible spots where are you here that looks good oh yeah yeah that's good let's see what we already saved over there that's the third and fourth round so we will try to get second and third from here get another type of herbs secured and here we've got first and second that's perfect first and second twice not bad oh jack aware Ignore him for now. We want to save the herbs if we can. No intention of killing all the enemies at the moment. Any herbs missed up here? It's not going to be that much of a pain if there weren't, because we have got all the most important ones secured already. So now we can just go through the level, wait till the troll spawns, and meanwhile harvest as many herbs as we can get. It's generally not the most dangerous thing because we are invisible. Makes a lot of enemies kinda trivial. Oops, that was one too much. Wow, they are respawning at an incredible rate at the moment. And we are having some Morgia roots here. That's nice. That means we can train our willpower. Yeah, yeah. Let's start the willpower training with Morgia roots. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should give us a safe increase for willpower. Strange herbs there. We don't know what they do yet. We must have um, identified the uh, Morgias while uh, identifying our equipment earlier. We randomly picked some up, so they were identified now. 
This is Spen Sweet. That's nice to have too. We might eventually bless the Spen Sweet and uh, use it uh, as a, a very, very effective healing source. Sense an imminent blood chilling threat. Okay, what might that be? Wait a second. Suddenly, Nuin the doppelganger appears out of nowhere. That's not so nice. Let's um, make sure that we are fast enough for this fight. Go a little bit away from Nuin. This was a warrior from a long forgotten epoch that was trying to please others too much. He was cursed and turned into a doppelganger that takes the form of passively passing travelers and preys upon them. He suddenly disappears. Is he invisible? Ooh, I think he got invisible or he got teleported away. One of these both opportunities. Picked up a wooden shield, I didn't want that. Let's see if he teleported. I think he probably teleported by whatever means. Maybe he's just able to do that. Oh, here he, here he appears out of nowhere. He disappears again. Apparently, he randomly teleports all across the level. Stand sweet. There he was for a turn. Okay, Ogre Mage. Kill him, good. <gasps> what happened? Magical Ice. We got hit by Magical Ice. That was an Ogre, I think. That's not good. That's not good. Can he see us? Apparently he can. <gasps> Upstairs! Ay, 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 ay. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice. First aid. Let's take off our cloak. Ogre wizard is not nice at all. Do we have anything to protect from from the ice? I, oh, we have an amulet of the cold heart. We need this amulet of the cold heart. If we want to take that fight, we need this amulet. But first, we need to regenerate a little. So we just walk through the level. Multicolored cloak, not bad. Let's give that a try. Oh, Cloak of Adornment, okay. We stay visible. Still, we stay visible. We just walk around here. We should be strong enough to take these fights easily. Oh, we are pretty hungry. I just see. Let's eat a dwarf sausage. Another one. And now let's just walk through this level and take a couple easy fights until we're back at full HP. Can take this battle axe. Oh, our strength is at 18. That means from now on it might probably be worth taking off our shield. <coughs> Let's do that. Unequip our shield. We are still burdened. Despite wearing the girdle of carrying, we have to drop some stuff, I think. Um, man, that's not the easiest situation. Hmm. What do we have here? Jackal Werecops? I don't know if it was a good idea to eat Jackal Werecopses, but probably better don't do that. Did we already get an increase on willpower? I think we got. Let's uh, keep on training. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We want more willpower. An ogre wizard. Hey, 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 hey. Not the guy I hope to see there. We are fire resistant. Yes, we are. Can we kill him from a distance? Yes, we can. Again, we stopped him from exploding. Very good. Um, uh, this Vortex was unable to kill us because um, of our fire resistance, but um, we want to get our HP back to a decent level so we can fight the Ogre, the Ogre Magus, 
That's why I tried to avoid the explosion anyways. And just by the way, um, so far, this is actually, I think, the first Adam stream we ever did without any viewers. <laughs> I think it's probably because I was a bit lazy the last weeks. I uh, skipped a couple of stream dates, but I think that's not too bad. So maybe we will have one more episode for the YouTube guys exclusively, which would be kind of nice, I think. are back at full HP. So now the thing is, if we swap to the cold heart amulet, I think we might take damage from it. Yes, we do. Let's see if the ogre is around. We take one point of damage per turn. Yes, there is the ogre. It's a bit of a problem. What happened there? You feel something passing closely beside your head. So the ogre is up here with us. Where is he? Here. Ah, moderately wounded him. Good. And we killed him. Very good. So now, let's take off the amulet again. Swap back to... Nah, we don't need death ray resistance in here. There's a chance of zero to get hit by a death ray in this position. But we can eat this ogre wizard corpse. Magic is 23 at the moment. If we eat this corpse... Oh, we get a strength increase. And, um, you feel power floating through your body. I don't think we got a magic increase. Is that... But we got a strength increase. That's actually pretty, pretty fantastic. So let's keep walking around here until, again, we are back at full HP. And at that point, we can go back down. I think it's a lot safer now that the Ogre Magus is dead. Yeah, that was a... Uh, bit of a tricky situation. We actually had to wear unpure, impure metal and take this damage per turn in order to safely engage the uh, Ogre Magus. Would have been the worst if you got one shot by an Ice Blast. I'm checking the stream all the time because I, I just hope that, uh, that I didn't miss anything up but there it says the stream is running. I hope that's the case. Okay, HP is looking better now. We still didn't find a troll. Let's keep that in mind. Our goal is to kill a troll. Can I just eat this fruit and cake? Maybe not. <coughs> Back in action. Let us make sure to be invisible before we go back down. Invisibility cloak and downstairs. With this cloak, we stay here and hopefully, eventually, find the troll we're looking for. Let's just eat this iron ration. Scout the side without the. Uh... Oh, this crystal dagger. Not bad. This side without the herbs, anyways, because we want to know if there's a troll around somewhere here. Eat these corpses just to make sure we don't run out of food on this quest. Small crystal shield, not bad either. Uh, eventually, we have to go to a shop where we can sell all this stuff. We want. Oh, vortex, vortex. Ice vortex, this is. I think we can kill it. Come on. There it comes. The vortex, we go up here. Doppelganger suddenly disappears. We swap to the amulet of the cold heart. He explodes and does almost no damage. Perfect. 
And my original plan was to um, kill the water, uh, kill the doppelganger with the explosion. And sadly, that didn't really work. I'm a bit afraid of the doppelganger. I don't know how much damage it does. Carrotroots, we take that. Let's kill the spiders. Oh, he disappears. He just stays out of his. Uh, stays at one. Okay, here he is. Ah, but he's in a in a line where we would have zapped ourselves with a wand of fast laying. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I wanted to recharge the wand of magic missile. Take the wand of magic missile and dip it into a potion of boost. And it gives it one charge. I'd like to get a little more. Wand of magic missile is rusty. I don't like that either. Um, dip it into another potion of boost. Three charges. That's fine. And that's probably what we need to kill this guy. But no, we've got a fast laying chance. Let's use fast laying. Put into it, let's say, five points. Okay, that was a tiny little bit of damage. And he disappears. There he comes. Let's see how magic missile does. Oh, that looks better. One more magic missile. And he disappears. There he comes. Let's give it a try in melee. And one more. And we killed him. Perfect. You hit Nui in the doppelganger and slay him. He goes down. Perfect. Identify scroll, not bad. I think we didn't have any of these left. Oh, we got confused when we hit this guy. Let's go down and kill this demon. Just because it looks dangerous. A troll, a troll, a troll! Come on, kill it. Okay, it can take a lot, but we finished our quest. Woo! And directly another troll afterwards. We'll take one more round of herbs and then we return to Dwarf Town. Our first quest is done. Yeehaw! Oh, I got confused again. That's a karmic lizard. We better. Shoot it. Good. And eat these frog legs. And we can now bloat it. Don't want this guy to multiply here. Maybe we do, but um, later, later, once we're at the point where we can pacify this room and we have some wands of door creation. Let's eat this ogre corpse. Okay, we are already at potential max, so I think there was no chance to get strength from that. So let's try to go back to the stairs now. <laughs> you meet Iblin, the female displacer beast. Her fur is milk white and tentacles are shimmering with dim warm light. This is an odd light. It does not make things more visible, but rather transparent. Iblin looks into your eyes. Suddenly you feel as if you are standing naked in front of her. Without any armor or protection. Oh, she's armor piercing. Can we kill her anyways? 
that was some damage. Ouch. Yeah, apparently she pierces through our armor, but we killed her anyways. Nice. She was not as dangerous as one could have feared. Need to get to the downstairs over there. Let's pick up these bad legs, they always sell for good money. <laughs> now come all the trolls at once. Now we already got four trolls killed. So, and downstairs. We can get visible again now. Downstairs. Oh, really hoping everything is going well with the recording. It should never happen that there was literally nobody watching. levels so you know the game we will throw our scrolls over to the other side hello mr. Titan can we kill him with the boomerang just so I don't have to swap back to the bow yes that worked Also have the lightning bolt book down here. So I'll take the boomerang. Oh wait, we can swim. Good. So we can unequip the boomerang again. Jump into the water, head first. 18. We rust our dragon string quarrels and our ring of the clear mind. And we still had an unidentif. I forgot to throw the identify scroll. I'm an idiot. We lost the identify scroll. That's sad. So, anyways, we are back in Dwarf Town. Let's do some status IDing if we can. And finish the first quest. Let's talk about that quest. Well done! To reward ye for your valiant deeds, I'll tell ya more about your stuff you are carrying. So, everything is identified. Let's directly get the second quest. Find the animated forest. Cross it and find out about what is beyond. Crossing the forest directly is perilous and tedious. Try it only if your will is strong enough to bear the stress. Might want to try the shortcut for the forest. It's a tiny stairway which once led into some of our halls. These days, it was conquered by evil beasts of great power. Nobody ever returned from that forlorn place. It's your choice. Return to me when you have succeeded. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we will do. Before we do that, let's take a look at our equipment. What did we find? White leather gauntlets. That's not bad. That's a pair of gauntlets. Okay, ours are better. Still, it's okay. Um... Amulet of rapid healing, that's nice. Is that a metal amulet? Let's give it a try. It's not. It's not a metal amulet, so let us bless it. And now we should get massively increased regeneration. Very nice. Do we have some water to bless? Should have, I think. No? No, apparently not. 
But we can definitely bless our Potion of Potential Strength now and drink it. Increasing our Strength Potential to a pretty respectable 22. Is there anything else we want to drink? Potential Beauty? Nah. Dexterity? Nah, later. We have Moss of Morelan. We have a fair bit of Moss of Morelan. Also, we need to keep training our... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Our willpower should go up to 14 now. For the Moss training. We uncurse it. Yeah, let's uncurse the Moss of Morelan. And... Here it is. Let's use four of them to start training our dexterity. One, two, three, four. Nice. That should get the dexterity up. Let's <coughs> take a look at these weapons. Anything in there that we want to use? Nah, it doesn't seem so. Nothing really great among these things. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty bad that our Dragon Slayers got rusty. We have to repair them at one point. A ton of Z's with us as well. Might be worth selling them. Definitely worth selling them, but we need a decent shop first. Got just one blessed carrot juice. I prefer to keep that. For the moment at least. Hey guys. I think that's it. Since apparently this is not the best timing for streaming today. I think let's keep today's run very short. We played half an hour. And in this half hour at least we finished the first of Trunda's quests. I will upload this video on YouTube tomorrow, so I hope that all of you will be able to catch up with the action before Thursday. Because Thursday is the day when we will do our next stream and hopefully be able to finish the second of Tuna's quests. Until then, let me say a very special thanks to everybody who watches these videos on YouTube. I probably neglect you guys a little bit sometimes should reply to the uh, comments more often. <laughs> I promise I will try to do better. Very, very big thanks to you guys. I definitely read all the comments, enjoy them a lot, and very often there are so many helpful hints among them. Well, until next time. Bye, everybody.